Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 24 of Learn Lightroom 5. And in this episode, we're going to talk about targeted adjustments. As you guys know, in previous episodes, I went through just about everything you could do on these panels on the right. But what I didn't do, is I, and I skipped right over it, was targeted adjustments. And there's two panels where you could do some targeted adjustments. And one is Tone Curve, and the other is the HSL, Color, and B&W panel. Let me show you what that means. You go to the Tone Curve, and if you remember, we drag this up to make uh, an area of the picture lighter and drag it down to make an area darker. And you could do some different, um, you know, add contrast to your photograph or bring out the shadows, something like that. What you can do, what I didn't show you, was this little tool right here. It looks like a donut with a, a triangle above it and triangle below it. If you click on that, your cursor will turn into that. You have the crosshairs and then to the lower right of the crosshairs you have the donut with the up triangle and the down triangle. What I want to do is I want to target this tree and I'd like to make this tree lighter. So all I do is go over the top of the tree where I want to make it lighter. I click down with the left button of my mouse and then drag my mouse up. And what it will do, it's targeting that part of the curve and pulling up on it to make it lighter. So it made this tree lighter. Now, it, by consequence, it made any pixel that was that same shade, it will make lighter. So it made these trees lighter back here, these trees lighter. But it really didn't affect that tree that was already light right there, at least minimally, minimally affected it. So that's the idea with the, um, the targeted adjustment. I just want to make that tree lighter. Now I want to make this blue sky lighter, or I'm sorry, darker. So I'm going to click down at the area I want to make darker, and I'm going to drag down. Now you can see on the tone curve, if I, you look over to the right at the tone curve, I'm dragging down in a part where the lights are the lighter uh, pixels are and I'm making them darker so it made any pixel that was around that shade right there it made darker alright so that's what you could do with the targeted adjustment in the tone curve panel I think the real power of targeted adjustments though is in the HSL color in B&W panel and um, as you guys know, I use this panel a lot when I um, process my landscape photos. And I don't really do much with you. I don't like changing the hue of a color. I like making it darker or brighter, maybe a little more intense, but I don't mess around with you. But it works real well with saturation. Let's say I want to make this blue a little more saturated. Well, I could just click on this targeted adjustment again, go over to the blue, and I click down with the left mouse button and I drag up. As you see it made the um, blue a little more saturated. Now go over to the luminance side of it and let's say I want to make I made it more saturated but I want it just a little darker. So I'm going to click on the blue and I'm going to drag down. So I'm making the blue just a little darker. So it made this blue right where I was clicking darker and then the other blues in the photograph got affected too. See it moved aqua a tiny bit and um, so it's in this case there's so much blue my target was pretty big but in the other case with the tone curve when I was messing with the green um, my target was smaller so it didn't affect the whole picture it affected more just where the green was. Let me show you something though in this picture I think you'll get a better idea. Okay, I want to make this green a little darker. So I, I already have the tool active. I'm going to click on the green and I'm going to drag down to make it darker. Now see what it did? It pulled yellow and green down. Right? Instead of so it, it right where I clicked is a mixture of yellow and green. So it pulled both of those down. Now, you know, conversely, maybe I want this path a little brighter so you could try to balance it by pulling up on that area so it it gave back a little more of the green than it did the yellow I think let's say I want to make the sky more saturated so I'm gonna to go to the saturation tab and I'm gonna click anywhere in the sky 
and I'm going to drag down will make it less saturated, up makes it more saturated. Okay, now I'm going to go to the luminance tab and I want the blue to be a little darker so I'm going to click down with the left mouse button and drag down and it's bringing that down. Okay, you see it brought aqua down a little bit too. So it was right where I clicked was a, had a tiny mixture of aqua apparently in it. Okay, uh, let's say I want to make this green now a little darker. Let's see if how fussy um, we could we could make it without making all this green too dark. So I'm going to click there, and I'm going to drag down, and it it's actually doing a decent job. It 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 did make this darker because there's just so much green, but it mainly made this shade of green. A little darker. So that's what you could do with the targeted adjustments in the tone curve section of your adjustment panels and in the HSL color and B&W panel. Now I'm in the HSL panel. As you know the color panel is really just the same thing. It's just you choose um, separate colors right here. So in this instance there really isn't a targeted adjustment that you could do. Um, for that um, there. And in the uh, black and white mix there is targeted adjustment if I wanted to target uh, an area here how as I, I mentioned uh, in my um, processing the black and white photo how you drag these sliders around to really affect your black and white image. And you could do that with the targeted adjustment also. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, just um, it adds another uh, tool in your arsenal is really what it is. And, you, and it, you know, at first when I just started using Lightroom, actually for a couple of years, I really didn't use it at all. I, I don't even think I knew what it was. And then once I um, got indoctrinated to it, I started using it more and more, and it really does come in handy. Instead of just blindly sliding sliders around, you can kind of target an area, and it does a really nice job of just uh, zeroing in on that one area. So that's it. This is a short episode of Learn Lightroom 5. I hope that helps you guys um, and helps you process your photos. If you guys have any suggestions or anything, email me at Tony at AnthonyMorganti.com. Visit my website. I have all kinds of stuff on there uh, helping you guys with your photography. And um, I really appreciate everyone watching and everyone who has subscribed to my videos. I'll talk to you guys soon.